right, welcome to Central Oregon Outdoors. We're at it, Crane Prairie Reservoir. Uh, cold <laughs> spring, June day, not early spring. We're in June, had a rainy weekend, and uh, uh, now today only supposed to get in the mid 50s, but right now it is not in the mid 50s. Cold water, but I've been hearing, I've been seeing them pull out some nice kokanee out of here, so I figured uh, I'd attack it. Uh, the Central Oregon Outdoor Way, which is uh, some kokanators, uh, just like we did at Polina in that video. See if it works here. Um, I've seen the trolling action and it takes a little bit, shallower water. It's not known as a coconut lake, but a monster trout out of here. I've caught some way back past, uh, caught some big trout out of here, but uh, we're gonna see what happens uh, today on this cold June day. Let's get out there. All right, so we're out here on the water. Uh, not sure the depths of this lake. We're gonna learn it together. That's one of the things I love. If you've uh, been out here before, uh, you can leave a comment. Remember to like and subscribe Central Oregon Outdoors if you want to see more of these videos. Fishing, hiking, hunting, adventures along with reviews of uh, outdoor products. I'm trying to find the everyday stuff. Everyday fishermen, if you're new to the area, maybe you're new to hunting and follow along with Rob. I already see a deer over on the uh, <laughs> little outlet over there. Let's see if we can get him in the viewfinder there. Ways over there. You can see some, looks like some pelicans over there as well. And really, like I was saying, for everyday fishermen, they're new to hunters, everyday hunters uh, that go out each year, want to know about products, a little bit of places, a little bit of ideas of how to fish stuff, learning it together. I know a few people we do it professionally all over the United States and here in Central Oregon that have kind of gathered tips from. But uh, really, yeah, it's just about being able to get out on the water and catch some fish. All right, so we're just a few minutes out onto this lake. have not found the deep spot, only tracking around 12 feet deep. Not that this lake gets much deeper, but going against the wind, you may be able to see a little bit when I get turned behind me. Lower snow than you'd expect in June. Probably just happened over this weekend. We got rain down valley. Uh, probably got some snow up here in the uh, upper elevation. It's cold. Getting a little rain coming across here, so conditions uh, less than uh, ideal. At least we're enjoying ourselves. We'll see about fishing. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll see um, what we can get out here. Uh, this is, uh, is mid-June in Central Oregon. You just gotta roll with it sometimes and fish anyways. Um, we'll see if we can, yeah, make it worthwhile to put a few fish in the boat, but uh, sometimes we don't. Sometimes you just enjoy the adventure of being out on a high, alt high altitude, high alpine lake with uh, clouds passing by, a little snow. It uh, you know, makes you feel like you're toughing out the conditions when you have those good days. But it's 75 and clear. And, Everything uh, kind of lines your way, but uh, we'll see what happens fishing wise. Yeah, not tracking a lot now. In fact, actually going down to about 10 feet. So, um, and I kind of take an angle here. I was reading some of the depth yesterday before I came out, looking at the layout of the lake. Um, and unfortunately, it's a, it's a ways to kayak to where they say you know some of the spring fishing is, but we'll see. Uh, we'll continue to give it a go out here and bring you along for the journey out here at Crank Prairie. All right, update. Not fun. Getting a little sleep in the face. So, we'll see how long this will last today. You can tell my glasses are all covered in sleet. I brought a little bit of gear that can keep me somewhat dry, but I didn't go full rain gear. I went more wind and a little cold gear. Did not expect the back end of this storm to uh, to deliver this way. I know it was a possibility, but uh, I thought it was supposed to be clearing up today. But man, I can't even just make progress out taking a little bit of water over the out of the bow here. All right, so I had a brief period of sunshine. If you check out my intro video for the entire channel, you'll see I shot it during that moment of sunshine. But we're back to sleep. 
right in the face. I haven't really done much fishing yet because I haven't had to do so much paddling just to get out to the areas. And that's one of the things about learning where a lake you can launch, where the best place to launch from is so that you have the shortest route to the fishing. Um, and whether it's really doable. Now the duck's laughing at me. He just quacked as he went by. It's like, this guy is nuts. What is he doing out here? I'm heading for cover. Uh, but yeah, that's that's one of the things you start learning when you come out is, you know, how far you can get in a uh, paddle kayak versus a pedal kayak in a boat. What areas you want to attack with a boat and which areas you don't. Right now, today is the day that it's going to be rough. Alright, so this is uh, what I call Kenny Rogers moment. You gotta know when to hold him. You gotta know when to hold him walk away, or paddle away in this case. <laughs> I'd love to have a, you know, a little bit of a Carl Spangler moment right now and say, I don't think the heavy stuff's going to come down for quite a while. I'd keep fishing. But uh, I can't even, you know, maintain any spots that I'm kind of marking where, what are there? The fish, you know, when you're in the shallower waters like this, I found at least one spot that I can get to about 15, 16 feet. Maybe marking a few things that look like fish but I mean when you're just fighting it like this it just becomes uh, yeah the time to uh, tell mother nature got this one got me on this one but you know I'll be back so that'll be a redemption tour out here you know I found this little channel here and I'm getting back into it uh, where the original river was but uh, yeah, staying in it and uh, trying to fish it is just not happening today. So I kind of work my way back, try to check some things out. That way I know for the next time. I knew a little bit, I learned a little bit, but that's the frustrating thing. Can't show you the mountains because I can't see them. Um, and uh, can't really get a good feel for a lake here on, on a day like this, at least in a uh, paddle kayak. So. cruising. He'll probably get a fish. Hey buddy, will help here? Huh? Will help. Where are the fish? Anyone else speak Osprey out here? You gotta show, I'm like surfing my way in. It's like, wow. Talk about all that weather I was coming to face it on the way out. Uh, so now we're kind of going to do one more pose because I'm almost surfing my way in. Here, little white cat pushing me, swirling around. Give you an idea of where we're headed there. But yeah, I was going against all this for the last two and a half hours. Now at least I get to ride the wave in. I've never seen anything like this. Either. And now we're back to sleep. So we started the day with a little sleep. We're gonna close out the day with a little sleep. That's just how we do it. So I have to show you, you close this video with, uh, with a little of that, a little of the elements, and a little of uh, the first time I've ever gone uh, riding a wave in my kayak. So Okay, bald eagles now are circling. I don't know if you can see them there. Almost in the dock, got some pelicans in front of me. Looks like maybe some juveniles or something. And a little bit of a dog fight going on right now over the the woods. It appears even the uh, eagles have been watching Top Gun lately. Oh wow! Majestic birds. Sometimes they just impressive. Oh, you can see the, you can hear the bald eagle over there. 